Well, <laughs> this is a show for everyone, which means it's also a show for furious middle-aged heterosexual men. Here with some straight talking, it's Richard Utree. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm Richard Utree. Nothing was proved. <laughs> and, and this is Alan Carr. Hello, hello everyone, hello. It's live. <laughs> Hello. It's live telly, love. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. This is part of the show where you get to hear the views of straight people. We've finally been given a platform. You're going to hear the kind of common sense straight talking that you never see on television, apart from now when you're seeing it on television and all the other times you'd see people like me on television saying that they're never on television. <laughs> this week, in the latest example of PC gone mad, Agatha Christie's novels are getting republished to take out any offensive words and phrases. What do you make of that, Alan? Oh, bloody hell, it makes me sick. <laughs> sick! <laughs> Read it off the auto cue. Oh, please. sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of woke nonsense. Them and their lefty liberal do good in garbage. They won't stop until every Agatha Christie book finishes with a murder being committed by Sir Elton John in a vegan florist with a double ended dildo. <laughs> 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 Strong words there from Alan Carr. What the f I, think, I think that's clued up, but never mind. <laughs> Next, in news from Europe... <laughs> <laughs> King Charles has visited Germany. What do you make of that, Alan? Oh, bloody... Ge oh, Germany's a nice place. <laughs> off, I like... Ge oh, off the uptake, okay. off the uptake. <laughs> If there's one thing I can't stand even more than all women, it's the Germans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah damn right. We damn right. Damn right. We shouldn't be sending our king to visit those sausage munching, cabbage stinking, <laughs> penalty scoring scumbags. Yeah. The only reason King Charles should be going to Germany <laughs> is to drop something on him from a plane. <laughs> Oh my god. Ideally a daughter-in-law. That's about Megan, that one. Not my words, the words of Alan Carr. <laughs> <laughs> it might get worse. Oh my god. Next, asylum seekers. <laughs> no, 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 no. And the government have announced plans to house immigrants on disused cruise ships. What do you make of that, Alan? Uh, oh, I haven't looked into it really. Off the auto. <laughs> I'd just keep it quite... I quite like having a career. Keep reading. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Oh, sorry, you've got oh, no, to no, scroll no, down, scroll it's down. It's a terrible idea. You... <laughs> Off the auto uh, cue, Alan. Bye, career, bye. <laughs> you can give that bunch a work-shy scrounge as a boat. Those <laughs> will be revving up the engine. <laughs> And make him for the coast before you can say, I worship Suella Braverman. I do. You might as well put <laughs> Gary Griffith in charge of an early learning centre. I'll... I'll be honest, Alan, you've surprised me there. <laughs> I've surprised myself. That was straight talking, and those were definitely the views of Alan Carr and me, Richard Dutry. <laughs> Nothing was proved. Back to you, Joe. Yay!